Dale 3 within ChatGPT has just gotten a pretty big upgrade. We now have the ability to actually edit the images we generated. We simply come up to the select button, select the part we want to regenerate. I'm gonna select the eyes here, come over to this prompt and I'm gonna put, give me some sunglasses. Let's see the output. And boom, we got some sunglasses on our golden retriever. Let's learn everything about this new feature in Dale 3, what we can do with this new feature and what this means for competitors when it comes to AI. Let's jump in. Right now, we can access the power of Dale 3 within the GBT of Dale by ChatGBT, which I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below so you can go to use it right away or alternatively in any chat. In this video, we're gonna mostly use that GBT I just referenced, but just to prove it to you, let's just like make a random image and show you how to edit it. Let's just go ahead and say, give me a cat driving a car image. Boom. As we know, this is a built-in feature within ChatGPT. It's only 20 USD a month to get access to this ChatGPT itself, like the actual language model and other really cool features such as attaching files. But here is our image of our cat driving a car. To edit this, all we're gonna do is simply click it and we can come up here to this little select button. What's nice about this is that we actually have the chat just like right here. So it's a really nice user interface. We're gonna simply add this select button. It's kind of like Photoshop, like the select tool, if you're familiar with that. We can come up here and we can actually adjust the size of it. So it can be very small details we want changed or very big details we want changed. So let's go ahead and change the detail real quick. So for example, let's go ahead and move this to the middle over here. We're gonna go ahead and select this part here and let's put a chat. In the chat box, I'm gonna go ahead and say, give me a top hat, cat and a hat, cat and a hat. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Seuss, cat and a hat, green eggs and ham. I do not wanna eat green eggs and ham. All right, let's create this image. Now this tech is very new, obviously, this is like early days. So in the future though, I used to do animation as a kid, like a lot, like Lego animation and clay animation. So this is cool though, in the context that this could get to the point where you could like, maybe like create frames by frames by frames of a different animation using this kind of imagery, right? And we got our cat in the hat, driving a car through a cornfield. No, this is not interstellar. He's not about to turn right or she, whatever the cat may be. Let's jump into the Dali GBT. Maybe I'm turning into Dr. Seuss now. Real quick though, if you're like, Corbin, how do I download this? You can either right click or alternatively just use the UI they give us. I'm gonna hit save here and it'll go directly to your desktop. And we can actually get the prompt itself. That's cool. That's always been a feature, but it's always cool to see that like, hey, to make this or regenerate this exact kind of image, use this prompt. Although if you really wanna leverage the full power of Dale 3 when it comes to this kind of interface, you're gonna to wanna to use it, the actual GPT created by OpenAI here. So I'm gonna say start chat. I'm gonna leave this in the description down below so you can click it right away. You're gonna to need to be a plus user, but this gives us a bunch of other features. One feature it gives us is more context around prompting when it comes to AI images, such as minimalist stars, caricatures, mirrored glass, golden hours, golden hours. We can actually shuffle these as well to get like a bunch of other alternative designs, which is cool. Furthermore, which I think is really, really cool is their ability to get aspect ratio. This is very valuable because in the early days, yeah, back in my day, like a year ago, year and a half ago, maybe now, we could only get squares in the context of AI images specifically for Dale, but now we get widescreen vertical. So we want to do vertical here. On top of that, I want to point out that this can all be done. Obviously, there's going to be like limits where it's like, oh, you can't use ChatGPT again until like 3 p.m., like those kind of limits. But this could really, you know, hurt other competitors here in this industry or in this niche, such as Midjourney. I will say Midjourney's outputs when it comes to images is still top tier. They're like the GBT4, but for AI images, like they're the best model. Corbin, what about Claw 3? We can have that argument in another video. Maybe we can do a comparison between the two. Let's go and try this within the Dali 3 interface. We're gonna do vertical aspect ratio of pigs flying. You'll be able to achieve that when pigs fly. Okay, I got it, I got it. You know the old saying. That's the old saying, right? Yes, this is an old saying. I was making sure this wasn't some weird Mandela effect or something I remembered when pigs fly. Something that will most likely never happen. Or will it? Okay, so we got a bunch of pigs here. We can go ahead and edit these two. Also, what I want to point out as well, with the Dali GBT, we're actually getting two outputs, which is nice. You know, standard industry right now is around four outputs per uh, per prompt. Two is better than one that it used to be. So between these two, we can go ahead and grab it. And let's see how good this can be. Let's push it to the limits here. So I'm gonna do a select, and I'm gonna go ahead and just cover each one of these, right? So let's cover each pig, each little piggy. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy went to school. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. We're gonna go ahead and change the uh, prompt here. Let's go ahead and change these to dogs flying. Make these dogs flying. Hit enter here, 3D wireframe. Interesting, so we can actually change the theme of the overall image as well. The process is still a little bit slow, but keep in mind y'all, 
if you show someone this tech four years ago, they mind would have been blown. We're getting desensitized to this kind of tech, but I mean, how much would I had to pay someone on Fiverr to make me that kind of image all custom made, right? So keep that in mind. Like sooner or later, these models are going to be able to do our taxes and we're not going to have to do a single thing and still be a little desensitized to like how powerful that is. Okay, so it's not amazing. It's kind of kind of works. Um, but that's kind of like the limitations. It's all new tech. So keep that in mind. It seems like the use case for this new feature is for very limited slash, you know, things like add a hat, add sunglasses, change the color, everything above the board. If you feel like you learned something in today's video, make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here that we're going over everything you need to know about ChatGPT and more specifically, GBTs. Let me know in the comments, are you going to start using Dialy now? Because you can edit it or you're probably going to stick with Midjourney as that seems to be more reliable in the context of AI images. But as you will see, I mean, what do you think this tech will be in three years, right? Comparable. I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referring to when it comes to GBTs. First one is GBT to build GBTs. GBT, 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 GBT. That's a random video. Could be good, could be bad. We do a bunch of stuff when it comes to business, AI, integration in your business, tech, above the board. Let's stay up to date. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.